Look at that. It's hard to beat the fun and performance of a motocross bike and if you can't afford to have all the bikes <laughs> and you want to take this off uh, on the trails or whatever and if you're like me and you like to pick up trash, go through gates and make sure you get them closed and be responsible and preserve the riding uh, with this kind of thing, then it's good to have a kickstand. Ryan's Mobile One. Uh, but I wanted to build a trail bike uh, that had a, a slipper clutch, uh, low gearing, good tires so I can just track up stuff. So that's kind of a tall order, but the first thing you got to do is get a kickstand on it because there's a lot of gates to go through. And if you want to stop and clean rocks off the trail, here's the one that I picked out and uh, I like it pretty well. I'll show you how I put it on there. Check it out. Here's a review and installation of the Trail Tech kickstand. This particular one is model number 5011CR. It basically fits a whole bunch of different models. The bike we're going to be doing is a 2008 450R, so it's right on the fringe of what it fits. Let's see how it goes. There's three parts basically. The kickstand assembly, if you can count this as one part. Uh, the second part is this little bracket for the spring. And the spring, that's it. Not a lot of parts. No bolts, no nothing like that. And the reason why is it's using all factory bolts. This recycles the bolt for your subframe. And then this recycles the two bolts uh, that hold your foot peg on. And this bracket replaces the factory bracket. That's why you don't have to have longer bolts or anything fancy like that. Bring it around like that. Needle those pliers, just kind of get it to flatten out. And by flat, I mean break off. You take a hammer or whatever, just kind of tap it out. Once you do that, Get this off. You can see this is hooked over the top and this is over the top here. Bear that in mind. I'm going to do all kinds of tool abuse here. Once it falls on the floor, it's harder to reference it. That's why we do it ahead of time to know to have it like that. At this point, we can get at our bolts here. I believe this one's a 17. And then the bottom one looks like it's a 10. Perfect 10. So that's gone. Anybody that's replaced foot pegs can do this, right? And even if you haven't done anything, you can still do this. It's not bad. So I'm going to go with the 10 first, and I'm just going to get it started. Put this guy in there. Let's spin the first couple of threads by hand because we're going steel into aluminum. We don't want to bugger stuff up. But, uh, And pull out the subframe. And leave all this together. I like to have mine pokey bits out that way. So I'm going to lift up on my fender a little bit to get this back where it should be. Once you have the first few threads in by hand, then you don't at risk of stripping things out anymore. If you do strip things out, I think you can tune the tension on this. I want mine to have pretty high tension. So I'm going to get it right up in the corner of that weld right there. I want that thing to Okay, so you take your peg, uh, take this guy, the curly bit on this end goes over the top of the peg part right there, and then the other part goes on top of here. You take your pin, put it on top, so top, top, through the top, top that. Ta-da! Now we just need a new pin to go in here. As far as getting this on, if you're in the up position, it's going to be easier for you. It comes with this on there. I don't know what to make of that. If that's supposed to just help in shipping or what. This spring's strong enough, I'll tell you that. Get the tip in, the rest is easy, right? Ta-da! Part of me is so stoked to have a kickstand. Another part of me is like, what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> I always used to think, you know, like on a BMX bike and everything growing up, the first thing I'd do is get rid of the kickstand so it wasn't falling because I had to jump everything. Now that I fly paramotors, I don't care. <laughs> it's like I get plenty of that airborne happy feeling. I wonder if, <laughs> funny thing about 3 8 and 12 millimeter is you can put it on the wrong way. <laughs> Isn't that fun? 
Don't tell me I didn't learn teach you or learn you anything in this video. <laughs> All right, let's find a pin for this and get that tagged up, and we'll be done. Let's test this though. Look at that. So why did I do a kickstand? If I'm such a particular guy about hating kickstands, I'm never doing a kickstand ever. <laughs> it's because I got all these uh, barbed wire fence cow gates to go through. This way it can hold the bike up. If I didn't have to worry about that, I wouldn't do a kickstand probably. Maybe, I don't know. But because and as I do, this is going to save me a lot of hassle and keep a lot of ranchers happy. So I won't, I won't think twice about an open gate and be like, will I, will I not, I don't know. I'll just do it. It's easy, I got kickstand now. Why do I got to tell all these stories? Nobody cares, they just want their kickstand. See, doesn't that look smart? I think they designed it just about perfect. Tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to weld a piece of inner tube right here. Because <laughs> that, is, that is annoying every time you get a bump. That's going to get old quick. So I'm just going to put that in there. You don't want to stab yourself with it. So try to get it to wrap around a bit. You may be glad you did. Ta-da! Good as it ever was. Good as it ever was. It's like a stiletto heel. So it works good. The angle's good. Look at it from the back. Looks like the lean on it's fine. It's got a great big footprint. It's like a cup. What am I talking about? Instead of just being a... It like sucks in, packs it together. It's not bad. It's really noisy. I guess they all kind of are. But that steel on aluminum, I can't imagine that lasting real long like that. You know what I might do is just put some Permatex Right stuff on it. Just have it bash on that for a while. I've got exactly this much left. See what that does for me. I bet it helps. Two years later, here's how we're doing. It's not been a problem at all. That Permatex has been a champ. <laughs> no wonder I use it for everything. Link in the description if you want some for years. Bonus footage at the end. This is a two-hander. Oh, somebody didn't do it all the way. Trying to find a place to lean your bike on something like this. It's sucky. It's hard. This is a poor choice of post. I tell you, if you're a rancher, make your gate as easy as possible for people to put back up. And I think you'll find they'll do it. Yeah, this one sucks. It's going to be better here in a minute, though. It's going to be easy to put up. Effective at keeping cows in. A lot of these ranchers are getting up there in years to where it's hard for them. <laughs> it just fell apart. I think you're getting the picture here that getting access to public lands through private lands with crappy gates is hard. You get a short old guy, he's going to struggle with that. Look at that. Cow's tempted to get through that. My gloves are a little tore up. I took way longer on this than I meant to, but I did a few things. This loop was hard to get into down here, so I wired this up to here. That way it holds in good. I got this proper tension, so you got a good gate that's going to keep cows from sticking their head under, around, and through. Here's how it works. Unhook it. Lay it out of the way. Then you pick it up, bring it back. You don't have to hook this up with your foot anymore. Just goes in. Throw that on. And it's just about as good as you started. If cows think they can push through or stick their head in something, that's a problem. And that's why I wired this stick I found sitting around. I got some extra barbed wire. And I wrapped it around so it's pokey here and pokey here. 
I put it on this side, see if people figure that out, if that works. That way, if they start to put their head through, it pokes them as if to say, hey, no. <laughs> so maybe they'll be scratching on it. You never know with cows. But this is way better than it was. Let's go riding.